All right. This uh, unboxing video of the Siru 50 millimeter anamorphic lens is a bit of a lie because I've tried to do it three times now with my GoPro, but apparently the SD cards or the GoPro itself have been messing it up and they've been freezing everything but the audio and the audio has been great. I've been very clever, but the video is really what you want here. My commentary can be pretty amazing, but you really just want to look at this stuff. Um, anyway, this is the Siru. I think I'm pronouncing it close to correct. 50 millimeter anamorphic. It was a Kickstarter and it came, came in yesterday. It's a micro four thirds inch lens and it's an anamorphic. Anyway, it comes in a nice white and blue box. Very airy like. So I'm gonna throw the lid there. Instruction sheet. Let's see what we got here. English on one side. And Chinese on the other. All right. Well, short list of specifications. Let's see, there's a um, little accessory box here with uh, a couple little foam cushions. And um, the accessory is a light gray suede-like pouch for the lens. All right, if the original video came out, you would have seen this lens shrunk wrap and sealed in this plastic bag. It was vacuum sealed. All right, so here's the lens, the Siru anamorphic. The anamorphic factor is 1.33. It is a 1.8 lens, so let's just say a T2 lens. Um, here's the nice lens cap, and here's really what you're interested in, the front element. Here's the front element. There's the uh, the side, very professional, like with the 50 millimeter engraved, the uh, iris ring, the index mark for focus. Focus is a uh, little under three feet, which is pretty impressive for an anamorphic lens. Um, micro four thirds inch mount, and it focuses all the way to infinity. And rear cap removed. There is the rear element. Very flat, relatively nicely done. Um, the feel of the lens is kind of like an old school, like one of those early Zeisses. Remember those, uh, those manual Zeisses that were popular about 15 years ago. Um, but anyway, it's got this nice little blue halo ring. Uh, let's see, 67 millimeter threaded front. That should work out fine. I think I've got a couple of uh, filters that work with that. All right, so there's the lens. Let's go ahead and put it on the, the uh, GH5. We got a little small rig uh, cage very minimal cage, but here we go. That's the Olympus Pro, which is pretty nice. Cap it up. Let's see if this thing goes on there. Prime that thing on there. There we go. Open it up. Focus it to about three feet. Sorry, I think I did all that off camera. Turn the camera on. Hold out the plate and uh, focus it. Boca, looking pretty tasty. Let's uh, do a playback of a picture. 
Let me see, let me go through a few pictures here. None of these are particularly exciting. Um, let's see if I can take one that's interesting enough. Here we go. Take a... Uh, let's see how thrilling this is. There's not much to garner from that. And it's overexposed. Anyway, it seems to work. Focuses. And uh, we'll, we'll figure out. We'll figure out how well this lens does with lens tests that should be coming up if I'm motivated and focused in order to get that done. But first I'll post this thing and see if people are interested. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is take three on the CRO 50 millimeter Kickstarter anamorphic lens for the micro four thirds inch format. Thanks.